How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So glad each and every single one of you can make it. Today's video is going to be a short one. Short-ish. <laughs> but it's something I've showed before and I've been asked about it time and time again. So I figured I'd make a challenge video. So what are we talking about? What are we doing? Let's find out. Now, what we're talking about today is work areas. Okay, everybody has different situations uh, to which they're limited by their place that they can work. Some people have grand setups. Some people have small setups. There is no right. There is no wrong. It's whatever works for you, of course. But with that stated, I get asked about mine, so I figured I would show it again. This time, a little bit more in detail and make it a challenge video so i'm challenging each and every one of you that watch this that work on cars and stuff like that detail cars customized cars all that great stuff to show your work area some people it's just a cabinet inside the house some people they have a full garage and some people have a whole basement so with that being stated let's get to mine again all right here we are at my little corner of the world and it starts off with lights i have two lights i'm gonna turn them out so you can see this is the ambient lighting that comes in the window. Got a window right there I use. And I can see fine to do the work, but you can't see fine in the videos of what's going on. So these are just two lamps that I got at Dollar Tree. Touch them once, that's full power. You see how much light it adds. I can adjust the power levels, but one is on, so I'm gonna turn them on. And now you can see how bright it is. This is what I use for my videoing. And as you can see, I've got a couple projects going. I have, I keep these to cover up stuff after I paint. So it keeps dust off of it. And rather than spending money on, on one of those fancy boards to dry parts, I went to Harbor Freight, got the alligator clips, took some wire hangers and cut them. And put them on there now. It holds parts while I paint, right? And then I can just put it on there and let it dry. But here's what everybody really wants to see, and I'm going to adjust the light so you can see better, okay? On the side, I actually use some of those Harbor Freight magnet hooks to hang things, because it's a metal cabinet. This is a Craftsman, as you can see, Craftsman. Roll-around tool cart. They run about 100 bucks. You can catch them on sale for way less than that. But it's good for hanging stuff like that. I've got my jeweler saw back there back there as you can see I've got it back there oh and about the lights it takes up work area whenever I do like this so then it limits my work area and if I'm not careful you can see it in the videos so I just took a cheap piece of wood ran my saw blade through it twice and then it fits perfect on this lip and it holds it fine why I mean they make they make expensive magnetic sh magnetic shelves and stuff like that but I mean that works perfect so if I can make something work, make it work, right? And then as you come around on this side, you can see I've got another light down there. I got the magnetic hook with my uh, forceps and stuff on there, scissors, all kind of great stuff. But here's what everybody's really wanting to see, and this is going to change because I've got something coming, and it's really going to help me with my painting to where I could do 90% of it inside. But I've showed you the top drawer before, and I've since worked on it a little bit. This is where I keep my main tools that I use outside of one or two, and we'll get to that. I mean, I've just got, you know, an assortment of picks and panel pullers and screwdrivers, different sizes. You know, this is like f five or six different screwdriver sizes in there. Razor knife kit or craft knife kit. Uh, files, gloves, my airbrush, air hose, battery operated Dremel and Dremel tools, cut off wheels, polishing wheels, deburr, stuff like that. And then I've got my steering wheels that fly in valiant scent. Extra things over here like axles and toothpicks. You know, don't ever throw these away. You can use them for anything, Advil bottles or anything. 
my axle tubes, different sizes and everything, different sizes and thicknesses of masking tape. This is the little containers that I've got that I, when I do a custom, I take a car part, I assign um, one of these to each car, that way I don't lose any parts or anything. But I also keep my drill bits and tap in one. So there's that one. Oh, and the paint stripper. You'll hear the drawer on my videos roll out sometimes. And I'll take this out, set it up there, open it up, drop the car in it. But that's exactly where it goes, right there. And I've got my actual making material, my screws and stuff there. That's pretty much what's in that drawer. Come down to the second drawer, it's still the same. I just went through it. I have a few cars in here that I'm going to be doing customs with. Most of my customs are always on the bottom two pegs on that tree. But the, as you can see, it's full. And no, that one is not going to be a custom. I just stuck it down there when I got it because that's the only place I need to reorganize all this. But as you can see, I've got some of my Hot Wheels, and this is all going to be general, I mean, uh, Dukes of Hazard stuff. As you can see, got a lot of different cars in here. Some cars that Nas nice, sent me, and just different people, you know, different makes and models of Camaros, or different makes, different years of Camaros, and all that great stuff. Some treasure hunts and ID cars, all that great stuff. Move down to the next drawer. This is where another drawer of my most used tools is. Of course, you got to have a drill to drill out your your rivets and stuff on your car. Then when I airbrush, I've got to have something to hold my airbrush with the paint in it because you don't want to be laying it down. I have two test mule cars where I can spray the body with different paints and stuff and try them out. Notepad for ideas and stuff that I need to order or whatever, you know, get it to the store. Then I have my different detailing pens and markers, paint markers, sharpies. Then over here I have my wheels. This one has a few premium wheels in it, and the other one is wheels that were sent to me and wheels that I have robbed off of other main lines. Of course, you got to have paper towels, dustpan for cleaning off the work area, various sandpapers and stuff, and some ID cards in boxes that I didn't want to put in the other drawer. And last but not least, this is the extra drawer. Anything I have extra that I don't have room for or need for right now goes in here. All my little Dollar Tree um, paint holders where I can pour paint in there and use toothpicks or, or uh, paint brushes, whatever. All my extra packs of pens for making my own Spectre Flame paint. Got to have extra towels and stuff. Electric Dremel, if the battery Dremel doesn't get the job done. Drill bits of all various sizes, and there's another thing of drill bits underneath that. As you can see, with all kind of different sizes and stuff. But the main ones that I use, and the extra tool for putting the screws in when the other one breaks or wears out. But the main drill bits I use, I have extras of them stashed over to the side, got extra glues, JB Weld, and here's extra blades for the jeweler saw, all that great stuff. Power cords that I save from old cell phones so I can make me a zinc plating set up one day, extra steel wool, extra q-tips, right? extra q-tips, paper clips, you get the picture, anything extra, extra air hose for my airbrush, Mixing cups, bottles, more spoons, more rags. But you get the gist of it. This catches everything. This bottom drawer. Anything I have extra for backup goes down there. Keep all the main stuff in this one. Again, here's just a quick overview. Quick overview of that one. The cars again. And the main tools I use, put this back. So when it comes order time or I need something like I have it. And let me show you one last thing. Let me get you set up. Now what I want to do is get me a roll around cart and put right here. 
so I can keep, you know, different sprays and or different tools, rags, stuff like that on it. But another thing that I want to do is put this on the top. This is my instant go-to drag tray, if you will. It's got my fingernail polish remover in it, the oil for when I'm drilling out the bottoms. It's got the super glue and the insta set in there, as you can see. Some more gel instant glue, super glue. And I love the gels because the gels are more controllable. Razor knife, of course, gotta have that. Got tweezers, gotta have those. Uh, a few extra markers that I didn't have room for in my other thing. Got some uh, glue on a stick glue for paper products. Rotary color, cutter, small scissors for when I do decals, another razor knife. But you got to have these for whenever you're doing um, mixing paints and and all that great stuff or using lacquer thinners and stuff, you know. Anytime you need to get a liquid out of a can or a bottle, this works perfect and then you just throw it away. These are super cheap. Then I've got wire brushes, I've got all kinds, you know. If I don't want to create scratches, I use the brass. Then I've got the regular wire, metal wire for like, you know, anything that I'm not really concerned about. Uh, multi screwdriver, put that over here. Then the one for the screws that I use on the bases. I've got some nylon bristle brushes if you really don't want anything to happen. Right? Just a wide assortment of different things. Then over here we have all kind of different brushes. I've got a toothbrush, old toothbrush for like whenever I dip it in CLR or or lime away and you need to get around after you when you're getting ready to pull it out, you need something to brush it off this kind of stiff. So I can use this or the nylon ones, but this works great. I've got all kind of different uh, brushes for brushing on the stripper, taking the stripper off. All kind of different paint brushes, different sizes and everything. And then I've got all these toothpicks. And you can buy a pack of these, like, God, a hundred or two hundred of them for a buck at the Dollar Tree. And then my steel wool. Got my 4-aught, 4-o steel wool, however you want to say it, right there. With a couple magnifiers if I need it. And that's pretty much it. I've got a bag of Q-tips. I keep on here too. You can see them in there. And that comes in handy when I'm cleaning my airbrush and stuff. But my, what I want to do is I want to get me one of those roll-around carts. And that way I can sit right there. And just reach over there and get it rather than having to reach down there. But that's it, that's my workstation. And that's what I've got. I'm limited to this area, and then when I wanna spray paint right, whenever I wanna paint right now, I do it outside, especially urethanes. Probably when I get the setup that I want, I'll probably still spray urethanes outside because they're just so stiff and you know so, so pungent in the smell. And it's like a fog whenever you spray it. It's so thin and everything, it just fogs out. So, you know, even if I had the best of spray booths inside the house, you would still smell it, I'm sure. I'll test that theory out one day, but we'll see. But one last thing I'll show you, like I said, I assign parts, or I assign these little things whenever I take the car apart. And it just helps keep the, everything separate. I've got the glass in there. I've got the wheels in there that I'm planning on putting on it and any bits and pieces that come with it that I'll need, right? It's just a way to stay organized. Okay, interiors, waiting on me to detail them, wheels that I am going to put on that particular car, whatever. But it's just an idea, something you might want to think about. It helps keep everything organized, keeps you from losing stuff. And that's my work area. What is your work area? Be sure to Put the video and put hashtag my work area in the video title. That way everybody can find it and anybody that watches my video can go check your video. And by using that hashtag, hashtag my work area, and they can come watch your video from my video and from your video, they can go check out other people's videos because it's like a networking thing, you know. Start it with mine and it just snowballs from there, hopefully. Because I know everybody's got different tastes, different 
different reasons for doing it where they are, how they're doing it. So let's see what you got. This is my work area. I'm proud of it. And until next video, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you. Thank you so very much for watching.